During the Nestle Nutrition Workshop, you provided estimates on prevalence of small for gestational age. What is this? Well, we've uh, done estimates of the number of babies who are born too small for their gestational age. So this is done by comparing the baby's weight to a reference population to see if the baby weighs what would be expected for that degree of gestation. Do we have good standards for fetal growth? There are a number of reference populations that have been used and these are um, widely in use in many countries. There is a new um, effort of the World Health Organization and other uh, experts to develop an international standard for fetal growth and for birth weight, which should be out soon. But for the moment, we're using reference populations, the most common being one that, that came from uh, more than three million births in the United States. Um, how big, what, what is the dimension of the problem? How many newborns are so-called small for gestational age? newborns. Let me say first that um, a traditional measure of uh, babies being too small is low birth weight. So baby being born less than 2,500 grams at birth. And this does identify babies who are at excess risk, need extra care. But there are many babies who are above 2,500 grams and are still too small for their gestational age. So the uh, figure for the world for low birth weight it's about 15% of all births are less than 2,500 grams. But for the small for gestational age, it's actually much higher. It's actually about 26%. And this is, is 32 million babies in the world who are born small for gestational age. Is, are there certain uh, regions with higher risk? The regions of the world that have the highest risk of both low birth weight and small for gestational age are in South Asia and some parts of Africa. But we don't know why. Well, we do know that uh, those are areas where there's substantial poverty and undernutrition of women, short statured women, uh, women who don't get enough to eat or enough micronutrients, vitamins and minerals during their pregnancy. So that is part of it, um, but that doesn't explain all of the uh, small for gestational age, there's still more we need to learn about the causes. How about China? China has a very specific policy in terms of having children, but they have a lot of newborns per year. Right. Well, we, we don't have the best data for the prevalence of either low birth weight or small for gestational age for China. We think it's not exceptionally high, but um, we, we don't know at this point. So SGA is a global problem. It affects more than 25% of all newborns in the world. Is That's this right? right? That's okay. correct. Thank you very much. Thank you.